Okay, this is Ray from DCRainmaker.com. Today I've got specialized uh, e-bike along with the Garmin Edge 1000. Um, now this Edge 1000 has the latest version of Connect IQ on it. Um, and with that it has a specialized app, so it's a full app mode. And allows me to go ahead and control the e-bike. Um, so at this point, you'll notice that we're going up a bit of a hill here on this path. Um, and I'm, of course, barely pedaling because the e-bike is doing all the work. Meanwhile, back there, Mateo is pretty much dying. Um, but so far so good. Now here with the hill, or with the uh, app, I can go ahead and swipe to change different data fields. So I'll try to do that without crashing here. Um, now of course you see that little speed catch up. So it just, I mean, it really responds pretty fast there. So here we go. Here we go, much better way of doing that. So now you can see different data fields there. This one is all the details. So I've got battery temperature, uh, motor temperature, wheel size, front gearing. I can change that. Swipe again, got the uh, different tire pressure sensor IDs. Uh, so on these tires here are actually tire pressure sensors. Um, the same ones used in automotive uh, from a kind of vehicle standpoint that Garmin sells. And here we've got them basically connected to the mountain bike. And then I'll go back up, swipe one more time. It's the main page. Um, and now you can see the actual tire pressure there on that front page. 13.6 PSI, 14.1 uh, PSI for the back there, as well as the uh, kilometers an hour, so if I go ahead and give it a bit more, uh, the bike will easily respond here. There we go, up to 24. And now I'm going to what is actually a fairly nice grade here um, with no problems at all. Uh, and if we look back, we've completely lost the tail. Uh, so, he's basically gone. Uh, but, anyways, pretty cool stuff. Um, the app works well. Uh, it does replace your regular cycling mode, so just keep that in mind. Um, but otherwise, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, that means that every app vendor has to kind of recreate some of the different cycling functions. So that's why you see the kilometers an hour there and the distance and whatnot, as opposed to seeing the regular control itself. So with that, thanks for watching.